first and 15. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Jerry Judy, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. To throw is Wilson. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your own coming up. Now Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third. First and 15. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Randy Gregory. The outside line was for him. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. They'll set up a throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be corralled well on field right around the 40-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more in the right spot, and they connected there and picked up a first down. Now two are going to fake the jet sweep and the handoff as he'll drop the throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. Here's another first and ten. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. It's a big place in a passing game on this. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line. 43 yards now on the just six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Tua sets up to pass it, escaping the pressure right. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. Tua Tua by Lowe. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And there's something that goes back to the early years of his career. Remember, he had three touchdowns in each of his first couple. Five after the penalty, it'll be first and five. Now it's Wilson. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. This will be caught, Judy. And they'll get him down as he's inside. They go play action now, Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And they get him down. He's down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stir him. And that one winds up incomplete. Hill going to go in motion right. And the pressure gets there, and two is going to be taken down. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Emmanuel Agba with a big-time sack on that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. 
Now Wilson on second down. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Throwing again here, Wilson. Here's a diving catch right side. That third down conversion, good for 23. With the kind of game he's had so far, he had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did, for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hand. A toss to the wide side. This is Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Broncos are able to stretch out their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the Today's offense, NFL, Charles. if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. It's a ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. On first down, they go with Mostert again. Shelling through the defense. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 11 yards there, just like last play. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. From the gun, it's Tua. They shakes him off. Going right back to Wilson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see opening. Now Wilson on first down. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. If they're able to come back to tie or win this game, I think this is a play that we're going to look back on as the game changer. They really changed the tone of what the opposition wanted to do when they're trying to run some time. There's Wilson to throw. And in the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sapped on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step. Two and a try again on second down. And he completes it to Wilson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. When this drive is over. Two and a throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheme. Throwing Tua. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Oh, here's fourth down now. Here's Tua. They'll try it now with Mostert. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they have taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. Throwing now is Wilson. As a stopper with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts. Now leaving with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Wilson. And got his 
Smith. This distance, you got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared. Stay on your feet defensively. And that's caught inside the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey, and Worry was wearing another on the other side, Ron, as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance was just a little bit too great for it to happen here.